meme review. What's going on, smart people? It has been a long week. It's been a long month. Leave a like if you've if you've also had a month. Uh, I've been a bit AFK. I've been volunteering at this physics summer camp, which just ended, and now I'm trying to catch up on some research. But I will always make time for the physics meme review. I have a little fort set up for for Meow Meow in case she wants to hang out with me. She won't come sit with me unless there's a fort just like Kelly, but I'm going to be on the physics meme subreddit. As always, I will leave a link in the description so that you can make memes for yourself and maybe be on the next physics meme review. I have it sorted from top over the past month. Um, now that I think about it, that kind of just means it's all, it's all downhill from here, isn't it? That's an interesting strategy for a video, but let's go ahead and get started. The first one, physicists on this sub telling each other how much better they are than engineers and other physics majors. Did you just call us a bunch of Jerry's? That is insubordinate and childish. We're at least, we're at least, I'd rather be Morty than Jerry. That's, I think we all would. Time Traveler. Oh, what are you studying? Max Planck studying physics. Time Traveler. Wow. Classical or quantum? Max Planck. <laughs> Happiness noise. All right, so we got America's ass. Strong nuclear force. My own territory. Proton, proton. So inside the nucleus, we just have a bunch of Chris Evanses holding protons together. Uh, every physics major who completed GR this spring. So that was the Schwarzschild metric, the manga, the anime, the Netflix adaptation. I like the blacked out, what is that, someone's watermark or something that you didn't want them to get credit for? Okay. Well, actually, I guess, well, people always call it the Schwarzschild metric, but technically it's the invariant interval, isn't it? The, the metric would be... Never mind, getting too, whatever. Uh, Washington DC, Washington AC. Surprise that joke hasn't been made before. Mathematicians. And then we got Trump, dy dx is a fraction. First time I've ever agreed with Trump. Just kidding, I don't pay attention to anything. <laughs> stars, I fear no man, stars, but that thing, iron, it scares me. I think that's the, a misconception, right? So iron wouldn't kill a star. Iron's just like the last thing a star makes before it dies. I think, anyway. So Lex Luthor, if you're watching this, myth busted. My knowledge of quantum, my my knowledge of quantum mechanics, my social skills. <laughs> so you can have one or the other, but not both. That, that's clever. That's actually pretty clever. Two dy dx fraction names in one. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's a way to get upvotes, is to appeal to the math community and the physics community. Well-written, structured, original joke, physics students. So that's, that's, like, that's like my videos and then how everyone reacts. Biology isn't a real science, we're using physics. Yeah, so that's what I should start doing in my skit videos, is just a bunch of engineering jokes. Even though like half my audience is engineering students, are engineering students. So maybe that wouldn't be a good strategy. Double pendulum exists. Physics majors. This is fine. Maybe double pendulum using Newtonian physics, for sure. Uh, twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. 200 years of astrophysics. Am I a joke to you? We've got, yeah. Anytime a child starts singing that, just take your Sean Carroll general relativity book and just yeet that little guy across the room. The pupil of your eye can expand as much as 55% when looking at someone you love. Negligible mass, friction, and air resistance. My knowledge of quantum mechanics, my social skills. I don't get it. That looks like you know, like you have both of them. But it says I don't know nothing, or I know nothing. I don't know. It must be one of those memes that's like, someone made and then they revised it a bunch of times and I think this must be a revision to it. Electrons, Schrodinger equation, physicist. That doesn't make sense to me, but then again, you are very small. I need to rewatch Lord of the Rings. I do this thing where I don't ever watch something new. I just rewatch things I've already watched. So that that whole office being taken off of Netflix is that that I think that mostly affects me. Uh, no, a responsible adult student says no to non-Euclidean space. I don't know, I mean, it technically wouldn't, wouldn't just the regular old Minkowski metric be non-Euclidean because it's not a diagonal of ones, there's that relative minus sign. 
I'm okay with that. What's the SI unit of power? What? Very good. Hey, that's just like a remake of the, you're a unit of power, Harry. I'm a what? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Yeah, I see where this is going. From one and two, we can write E equals M A squared plus B squared. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I saw the funniest version of this that I saw was like a proof that E equals M C squared. And I think they took F equals M A. And they said, let's define F to equal E and M to equal M and A to equal C squared. It was funny, okay? I promise. <laughs> Sorry if I sound sick, it's just because I'm sick. We did it, we time traveled, but to what year? Let's ask those guys over there. We did it, we time traveled, but to what year? It's, we're in a time paragraph. Paragraph? We're in a time paragraph. Just making sure this isn't loss. Okay, anytime I see four panels, it's usually loss. Someone adds forces like scalars. Me, that's not how the force works. It's like you were sitting in, in my TA last semester. Uh, made with both magnitude and direction. Mom, can we have a vector? <laughs> I like how I read that as if it was in the despicable... It, that was despicable me, right, with vector? I think so. Can we have vector? No, there's vector at home. Vector at home. Actual vector. Uh, old joke, new format. It's a wave, it's a particle. Is it both? It's both. Wave particle duality. I hate it. I just hate that we still call things particles. To be honest, that's what I hate. Uh, applied equals suicide. Gotta stop reading the title. Signing up for an exciting advanced physics course with an attached lab. Ah, see, that's where they get you. Because no regular old physics course calls itself advanced unless it's a lab. I'm convinced of that. I've never taken a physics class that that was advanced, that called advanced in the title, that wasn't also a lab. I, I, I have an introduct introduction to quantum field theory. It's like one of the least introductory courses ever, but I guess it is an introduction to it. But that would be funny. I feel like it's a, a theorist would be the one to have an introduction to advanced quantum field theory. I'm waiting for that. Just one more video. I have I have a long day tomorrow. 3 a.m. General Relativity Lecture 7. Speaking of like YouTube channels that do like the, the high-level physics stuff, it's Alex something. I'll leave a link to it in the description, to his channel in the description. I think he's like a professor somewhere in Colorado. I think it's Boulder. But he has all of these advanced physics lectures that he has, and they're, they're awesome. So be sure to check that out. There's, there'll be a link in the description here. Huff Post. Three books every girl should read before starting college. The Three Lectures of Physics by Feynman. I have a bit of a confession. I haven't really read those. Uh, the only section I read was the one on the inertia tensor. Still love Feynman, he, he was S tier, don't get me wrong. Why can't you be normal? Classical mechanics, the atom. Normalizable, good joke, Andrew. The sun, hydrogen atom, another hydrogen atom, now kiss. That's so, that's so cute, so kawaii. Swedish physicist fails to prove gravity, 1687 AC. <laughs> After Christ or alternating current. Oh man, I've seen every one of these so far. I've watched all of these episodes of the Let's Play Minecraft with PewDiePie. I don't play Minecraft. It's just such a good time. If you haven't seen the latest one, spoiler alert, you've been warned, skip to like five seconds now. Rest in peace, Jorgen. That was so sad. Uh, sorry, not sorry. Mathematicians, physicists, engineers. Okay, uh, what does this mirror do, Professor? It shows us nothing more or less than the deepest, most desperate desires of our hearts. Integration chain rule. I was gonna say integration by parts is that, but no, that's product rule, or like the reverse of that. Uh, use substitution? <laughs> I don't know. I use the imperial system. What does imperial system mean? It means he's afraid of the metric. No, it doesn't. Ooh, kilometers. Stop it, Patrick. You're scaring him. Normal cars need gas, like so. But with slight modification, the car is now always going downhill. I feel like if you're going to use an Einstein meme, it should have been the one where he's being held back. <laughs> when you accidentally cross an H into an H bar while writing normal stuff. That is me. I do that all the time. I don't know about you, but I do that consistently. I think... 
I think I write H bars more than H's, which is why I do that. Which is kind of wild to think about. I'm something else now. That smile is relatable. Quick to see spoiler. Alright guys, this might be an endgame spoiler. If it is, uh, I'll put a little timestamp to where you can skip to so nothing gets spoiled. If you don't see one, then it's not one. Oh. Why was that? Okay. You got me. Sexually attracted to both males and females. Bisexual. Schrodinger's gay. <laughs> so, <laughs> God damn it. That's kind of funny. Um, with easy, oh, Newton's third law. There we go. That's one way of explaining it. When you overhear the first year students say they want to research string theory. Is this, are you guys coming at me again? Truly wonderful the mind of a child is. Your homework's only three questions. I've seen this one before. End games, the most ambitious crossover, and we have the um, the Salt Bay Conference. So cool. What is this? Weird angle. That's pretty cool, but it seemed kind of arbitrary which direction you had it rotating in. Maybe I'm just stupid though. That's probably the answer. Uh, nobody, entropy, stonks. It's going up. Quantum physics, here, take this. I don't get it. The volume of a cylinder is found using the formula V equals pi r squared times h using pi equals five. <laughs> That's some next level engineering right there. <laughs> I love these memes so much. The grad student telling the professor I ruined a $1,000 optical component, me just standing there. My favorite one is the one where it's like, just the small Keanu Reeves, where it's waiting for my mom to get off the phone so I can tell her my Bulbasaur evolved. <laughs> okay. Uh, Freaking high schoolers, when they make a meme about Schrodinger's cat or approximations and post it to this sub, I've achieved comedy. Two... Nine, nine, I prefer the real C. 300,000 kilometers per second. I said the real C. One. Perfection. Heard that. I kind of wish this was a C equals one hat now, but... <laughs> uh, let's just do a couple more. According to a study from the University of Oxford, women with bigger butts give birth to smarter children. Albert Einstein, <laughs> mother hot picks. Guys, that is just so absolutely disgusting. I am so disappointed in this community. Rats! Anyways, um, I really need to fix my study habits. Studying for tomorrow's test, looking up physics means instead of sleeping. Physics means help you study because every other one says quantum and that makes you smarter because it's science. Eigen Mobius value. How philo philosophically exciting the questions are to a novice student. Special relativity, quantum mechanics, danger zone, general relativity, fluid dynamics. How many years of math are needed to understand the answers? Yeah, special relativity is not hard. Basic physics. Yeah, ain't that the truth? Let's assume a spherical fish. <laughs> I like that one. All right, I think we're gonna end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I like to do these physics meme reviews about like once a month just to keep it from getting too stale. Plus, it's more of a sample size, or at least it used to be because the subreddit used to only have like 20,000 members, I guess is what it's called. Now it's over 40,000, that's pretty cool. So let me know in the comment section, do you guys think once a month is good? Do it a little bit more frequently? I think once a month is probably good. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section if you did. And I'll see you guys there.